We're moving ahead to 165 pounds. Williams Arena, Cliff Kane National Duels. Iowa versus Minnesota. Score now, Iowa 12, Minnesota 10, and we're off to the 165 pound match. We're Nick Moore from the University of Iowa is going against Cody Yawn. Cody Yawn, 18 and seven on the year. Both these wrestlers are seniors. Having good seasons. Actually, I checked that. I don't know if uh, uh, Moore is. I know Jan is a senior, but uh, a match that was won last time out. Nice head to the outside shot there by Moore. He's able to switch off to a double. Looks like he has the advantage here, but Jan's able to lock in the crotch, able to square up. That was something he wasn't able to do last time. These two guys wrestled, so. A little bit better defense by Jan. Yeah, Moore has been able to go ahead and get in on, on his shot. That time, Jan was able to cut the corner. Jan. Russell's a little bit high in his stance. Moore working off the inside bicep tie. Take, taking a little bit more territory, moving forward, trying to get resistance. One twenty-six left, first period, 0-0 score. Iowa up in the dual meet, 12 to 10. It's been a much different dual meet than last time. These two wrestled, last time they wrestled, no bonus points. We've already had two falls in this bout now, more in a shot. We've already had two falls in this bout, in this meet. Tony Ramos getting a fall, and then Dylan Ness answering with a fall at 149. First five matches have been exciting. Stall warning on Yawn. Yawn answers with a shot. 45 seconds left, first period. And all right. Iowa bench right by that, that, happy with the stalling call on Cody Yawn from Minnesota. Yawn in on a low shot. Nice job there coming up. Not much time left here. Moore showing pretty good balance, but he's got the bottom leg going. He switches off to a single. And good flexibility by Moore. Yeah. Again, not a lot of bonus points. Moore was able to go ahead and get a major last two the time these guys wrestled. I misspoke there as far as the... Uh, Bonus points, but the uh, this match was all Moore. He gets the quick escape. Nick Moore out of Iowa City West High School. Cody Yon out of Arveda, Colorado. He has been a place winner. Yon has Moore doing obviously more uh, varsity time than what he's. Uh, done before and really wants to one of the guys that the University of Iowa really has to count on those additional guys they've got their stars they've got their highly ranked wrestlers but they're counting on a guy like this to help them in their effort and of course I think Jay Robinson feels the same way about Cody on they've got a lot of pieces in place here at the University of Minnesota to compete in the individual titles and for the national title the individual tournament but Right now, it wouldn't be surprised to see this type of matchup here for the round of 12 between the two guys of this caliber. A little bit later on in March, so. So far, Jan has been a little bit more physically into it than the last time up, so. A 
Moore working in off of a underhook. There's a nice attempt there by Moore, or dropping in on the counter shot. Jan's able to square up. Run out of real estate. Moore being active there in the tie. Jan has been warned for stalling, so this is the second time in short time that he's been on the edge of the mat. The referee has not called anything there, but the Iowa corner is aware of the uh, real estate that's being taken by their athlete. They want to get a call. Boy, what a turnaround from last the duel last time. In the first five matches last time, no bonus points. This time around, two falls, 133 and 149. As we move on to 165, Nick Moore, who was able to win last time by an 8-2 to two score. At last two time these two wrestlers, I mean, being broke it open in the third period. And now we go into the third period, 1-0 score. It's a much different match. Jan looking to go ahead and come up off of a tripod stand-up. Right. There he cut through. Gets the quick escape. So 13 seconds of riding time. In favor of Moore. So this match is going to be decided on the feet. Moore's in on a shot again. He's got the single leg locked up. Again, not much real estate. He's going to drop back down to the ankle. A little bit better position to move from. And I don't think that Moore's going to have to do that too many more times and he might get a stall call. And you can hear the Iowa bench pouring their guy on to get going, be active, and you can get the stall call. Iowa crowd getting into it. Now, Yon answers with it shot, it's crossed the body, Moore's in great position, he's got his hips down, his chest up, he's able to lock the leg, that's two point takedown. The activity level that Moore has shown throughout the course of this match, being more aggressive, now a shoulder roll attempt. Bought him that call, where, where Jan had to shoot from a distance, he's able to measure it, able to score. Forty-two seconds of riding time in favor of Moore now. Three-one lead. No stall warnings on the top man. Jan has come up to his feet. Looks like they'll get a new start out of it. Yeah, and he needs a. Uh, Jan probably needs to look for a reversal in this situation. And I would be. I wouldn't be surprised to see Moore go with a freestyle start or something where he doesn't try to work too hard, but he's going to control the legs, let him go off the roll. Activity by Jan, a little too late. Nice win by Nick Moore, University of Iowa. They extend their lead to 15 to 10. And again, a nice win by Nick Moore, 3 to 2. Actually, four to two with riding time. A little bit different than the mat last match, a little bit more hotly contested, but a nice win.